Hey guys, welcome back to Kendi Beauty. So it has been a hot minute. Yes, it has since we have done a Will I Buy It? Let's talk about new makeup releases video where we just talk about everything that's coming out, what we're gonna grab, what we're not gonna grab. You know, what's horrible, what's great, what we're on the fence about. I love doing these videos. I know you guys love these videos. And apologies in advance because you guys know my life has been a chaotic hot mess. So that that's why I'm just trying to get through all the makeup to show you guys. And then there's new stuff that I've been getting to. It's not good. It's not good. Um, but I swear, one of these days I'm going to go on a love bite. I, I, I feel like it's going to have to be soon. So anyway, what is on my face today? I have the um, Charlotte Tilbury from my Sephora haul. What is this called? I can never remember the name of it. The Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Micro Perfecting Powder. That's a mouthful. Um, I also have this baby that I've been trying out from my Sephora haul, the Glow Fit Glow Wish Huda Beauty Bronzer. I have my Dior No Powder Powder on. I have, what else? I have my Givenchy Prisma Libra Powder on. I have a new foundation. I'm not going to say anymore. It's the Lisa Aldridge um, foundation. I've got that on. I have the NARS Orgasm X palette on, the blush and the highlight. I have the Nadasha ugh, Denona mini gold palette. So I have another Sephora haul coming up soon. Friends and family sale. I did end up getting pulled after all. I don't know how. I have my Urban Decay plump, plumping lip gloss on. I have my MAC Giga Black mascara on. I have my Melt Precision Liner in Skin Tight. I have my Ambient uh, Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette on. And then I've got some of these like little embellished foil flakes. I got these at Michael's or Joann's, I think. And then I also have my Lisa Elbridge Gloss and Brace and Charmed. Loving, loving this. All right, so let's get into these new makeup releases because I know, I know it's been too long. I know you guys are like, where are, where's our video? Where is it? Where is it? But oh, and anyways, before we get started, this series and video is inspired by the oh so wonderful Samantha Beautiful March who I just can't get enough of these days. I've just been like binge watching all of her stuff. I don't know what it is about her in Vegas. Like I always loved her channel, but like the inner Vegas is coming out of me. Like I'm like, yes, yes. And then like Aries and oh, it's so much goodness. So anyway, I've been loving her new life in Vegas. It's been awesome. And yeah, so her channel and uh, the playlist is listed down below. All right, so let's get into all the new makeup. Ha ha ha. But first, I know you... <laughs> but first, my five minute intro, guys. You guys have been asking me, because the rougher came out with their holiday collection. A lot of you have been asking me lately in the DMs, like, what my favorite brushes are. So I thought I would start showcasing the brushes that I use on a daily basis. So today I'm wearing, I use the number four, the number five rougher. I use my BK Beauty 204 for like underneath the eye, loving that. That's a new one. Um, I have my MAC 195 brush. I did not use the Cinderella one today actually, believe it or not. I used my Chantecaille Eye Basic and Eye Definer brushes today. Where are they? Right here. I love these brushes. I think I told you guys I found these when I was going through stuff during the move. Love, love, love. I, I don't think they, I'll have to double check. I don't know if they still have them or not. If they don't, we need to get onto Chantecaille and be like, bring your brushes back. And then this powder brush, so good. So good from Chantecaille. Okay, so promise, now we're getting into the makeup and the lawnmower is going and it's, it's great, it's great. On a good note, I don't think my hair is as fraggly as normal, so that's a plus. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, I was just talking to my friend the other day and I was like, Juvia's Place, like what has been going on with Juvia's Place? Because last year they were just launching things left and right around this time. <gasps> they have a holiday collection. It's okay. It's available now. How is it available now? I didn't even see any sneak peeks or anything. What the heck? Oh my gosh, there's brushes. Okay, so there's a pro brush that a beautiful like blue I live love iced eyeshadow palette. Another eyeshadow palette. The palettes are $15 each. There's an eye kit, which is a palette and a primer for $26. Shoot. I've been wanting to try their primers too. 
Ah, oh, I should have done that. Gosh darn it. Because I think if you were by the palette and the primer, then it would be 27 And I just placed my order, so... Mm. I could have saved myself a dollar, I think. The I Live Love Ice Kit, which is the palette and a highlighter. Then there's lip kits. There's a nude lip kit, which has a liquid lipstick. I think it's a new shade. And then there is, I don't know if it's a new shade or not, actually. It just says warm nude. Then there's a, like a red lip kit, which has the Lover Girl liquid lipstick. I think Self Love and Lover Girl are both new shades of their liquid lipsticks. And then they have the lip liner in Cola, which is not new, I don't think. And lip liner in Scorpio, which is part of the kits. The kits are $23 each. And then a brush set, which I don't know because I just looked at their webpage. I don't know if it's going to be available or if it's sold out. I hope it didn't sell out because I really do. I'm excited that they're coming out with a brush set. So excited. Okay, what do you guys think? Juvia's Place. I know a lot of you love Juvia's Place. So I hope you guys are excited as I am because I feel like it's been a while. Like there's nothing that they've really released later on this year that I've been... I know they have those Rebel palettes but like nothing big like this. And I'm also curious. Let me know you guys' thoughts too. Remember last year they did the mini holiday palettes and then they did like the big palette. I wonder if they're going to do the same. I hope so. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Okay, next up we have a new Charlotte Tilbury coral pink lipstick with little like diamonds on the outside. That looks so beautiful and the shade looks really nice too. It almost looks like a frosted it says a coral pink lipstick with a moisturizing formula that leaves your lips feeling soft and hydrated, $34. I'm, I'm going to pass on that for right now. I may pick it up eventually, but I just, I have so many lipsticks that I just got from the friends and family sale and also that I just have laying around that I haven't used because of masking and everything. Like, it's just, I haven't gotten through normally... I had like gone crazy with the Natasha Nudes and the Pat McGrath and I had bought a bunch of lip products before the pandemic and then the pandemic hit and I'm just like not using them. I'm really not. Lisa Eldridge though, she's the accepted. Sh exception as always. Like it doesn't matter. I'm getting her lip products. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Lawless. The new, they have new shades of Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I have talked to you guys about this before. This retails for $25. So they have new shades. Butterfly is a sheer baby lavender with a pearl finish. Ooh, that sounds really nice. Glazed is a pale pinky beige with a pearl finish. And Angel is a sheer pink watermelon with a pearl finish. I'm so mad because I also just restocked my Lawless one. Oh, and the friends and family saw. I didn't know they were coming out with new shades. What the heck? Is this available now? Yes, this is available now as well. Ooh, we have a new. Is this new? I feel like I saw this before. I guess it's new. A new Burberry palette. Holiday 2021 collection Burberry it includes the iconic face and eye palette. Four sh eyeshadows, a dusty pink blush and a rose gold highlighter with a matte satin shimmery finishes. And then there's a Kisses Pearl Lipsticks in the shade Delicate Rose, the Red Russet, and Ox Blood. This is now available in Asia. It doesn't say when it's coming here. That packaging on that palette is like everything to me. That looks, I thought it was Tom Ford at first actually. Like it looks so, so good. Okay, and I think we've all known about this, but let's just talk about it anyways because, like I said, we've got some catching up to do. So, Danessa Myricks recently released the Infinite Light Palette Volume 3. Her two other palettes, I have this one right here. I don't know if this, I think this is one. Yeah, I think this is Volume 1 because this is the lighter one. So good. This is definitely different than her other two palettes. There's some multi-chrome finishes. It says an all over the face. All of her stuff says all over the face, but I, I don't know. I didn't have the best experience with those chrome flakes that were supposed to be for all over the face. I mean, I, I don't know. And then somebody was like, well, maybe they're not supposed to go in the eyes. Well, I don't know where else you would put them. Like, am I going to put 
chrome flakes on my lips? I guess it could. I don't know. Um, but this is well is an all over the face multi-use palette with 14 out of this world galactic shades in different finishes. Okay, can we just address though the pricing? Like this baby is limited edition and it's $125. It is expensive, and I know that that's not going to stop most of you guys, as it did not stop me, but it's so expensive, and I'm just like, why? Even if it was in, like, the $80 range, I mean, it is beautiful. Everything about it looks beautiful, but you're only getting, let's see, one, three, five, ten, four. I think you're getting about 19 shades. Oh no, 14, 14 shades. You're getting 14, 14 pans for $120. Even Natasha and Genona palettes, I believe, have more than that. So I don't know. I, I'm just kind of, I'm excited about it. Um, I am going to get it. I haven't gotten it yet. I thought Sephora was going to come out with it on the 20. First, but they're not coming out with it until the 26th, I guess. So we'll see. And now I'm kind of upset because I wish I had gotten a, a Beautylish because they're, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, Tom Ford, I've seen this before. The Lost Cherry Collection, I think I've seen this before. Was this available somewhere else first? Because now it's available at Sephora. I think this came out before it's other places. I don't know. You know, I love Tom Ford, but like I don't need any more bright red lipsticks. The packaging is stunning and so like, yes, give it to me. But the quad itself is, mm, I don't know. But I say that and then watch me get it at the VIB sale. We'll see. Okay, so um, Patrick Ta came out with a blush, like a holiday blush palette what is it retail for $58 it's includes three new shades with two different formulas textures and a cream powder I feel like if you haven't tried Patrick Ta then this might be a good situation some people were able to find it at Sephora I don't know what it is I, I just have not tried probably because I have too many blushes already and like too many cream blushes I haven't I don't know. I'm just not like dying to try it. Does that make sense? Like it looks very basic, which is probably, be it's probably beautiful, but I just, I don't know. I really don't know what it is about that. I just, it's just not like go out and grab it at Sephora type of a deal. I don't even know if my Sephora has it. I think people have said they saw it in store. This might be like an add to a cart if they have it online for the VIB sale. Um, you guys, I do have an affiliate link with Sephora as well, so please, if you want to support the channel and, you know, just help me show you guys more new makeup, it really helps. It's completely free to you. You would just log into your Sephora account like you normally do. You would click on the link, go back, It should you still should have your Sephora account open, and then basically it just gives me a little kickback so that I can afford to show you guys more new makeup. So again, you know, does nothing for you. It doesn't cost you anything, doesn't affect anything. It's still the same Sephora website and everything, but it's really helpful. So if you guys could, I'm gonna start adding more and more links. If you guys could use those links for brands that you would purchase anyway, I would so very much appreciate it because again, that I can do more giveaways for you guys. I can show you guys more new makeup and releases. It's just super helpful. And you guys know I'm a small channel, so I don't get much PR and stuff. So any, every little bit helps. <laughs> all right, so, and these flakies are getting like all over the place, so side note. Okay, so Glossier, ooh, I, mm. Is Glossier available in Sephora? I don't think it is. This looks amazing. Why do I want this right now for some reason? I don't even need more lip balms. This is the bomb.com and cookie butter. Can we just talk about cookie butter for a second? And Trader Joe's cookie butter and like how I feel like I'm going to rush to Trader Joe's after this because they probably have their seasonal cookie butters out right now. And I love them so much. And I'm just thinking about how I could put them on my low carb solar bread right now. 
Ooh, so good. I mean, the cookie butters are not low carb. Who are we getting here? Like, but you know, um, it's a hydrating lip balm pack with antioxidants, natural, natural, no. <laughs> Natural emollients to nourish dry, chafed skin for $12. It's not really, I think I'm going to get this. Ah, I think I'm going to get it. I just want that cookie butterness. And I've heard really good things about their bombs, too. Again, not that I need a bomb, but it's just like one of those things when I'm out Christmas shopping, like throw her on, have some cookie butter on my lips, yummy, yummy, yums. Okay. Why am I being such a freak cadet right now? Seriously. I'm like the biggest dork, you guys. Ooh, I did not know ColourPop came out with a new... It's like... I think it's a collection. Lucky Pink. I don't know. It's an eyeshadow palette. Um, some blush sticks duos. A Spot Me. Uh, a Luxe Liquid Lipstick. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a collection. It doesn't say the name of the collection on here. Oh, okay. It hasn't come out yet. It is coming out. So, honestly, I really want to show you guys more ColourPop. I really enjoy ColourPop. However, I'm not on their PR list, and I need to be because I cannot keep up with them. Like, I cannot keep up. I'll get something. It takes forever for me to get the collection. And literally, like, by the time I get the collection, I get to show you guys, they've come out with, like, six new collections after that. So, if you guys want to see more ColourPop, definitely, like, DM them, let them know, email the brands. If you guys want me to get PR from certain places, I've said this before, I'll say it again, just because I do want to show you guys a more variety and more collections and more hauls, and I want to be able to just show you guys all because I love you and I just, I want to do everything for you, you know? <laughs> okay, enough, 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 enough. Jacqueline Hill came out with her new holiday collection. What are we thinking about this, you guys? What are we thinking? Ah, uh, is that a face palette? Speaking of PR, look at that PR box. Boy, would I love to be on her PR. Just because that box looks so luxe. Is that a face palette? I kind of really want that face palette. Winter Sun Face Palette. $38. There's Sweet Glaze Lip Lacquers in four shades for $18. There's a Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coat for $26. Those look really interesting. Her Pout Spoken Liquid Lipstick, $20. And then... Um, four shades of the Pout Spoken Lip Liner for $18. I really have not tried anything since she branched out on her own. Only because everything sells out. Whenever she has new launches, it sells out. And I can never get stuck in st stuff in stock. Like, there's some powders I've been wanting to try from her. Same thing. Because I've heard really good things. What are you guys' thoughts, though? I know some people are just totally over Jacqueline and Morphe and all of that. Um... I don't know. Comment down below, good or bad, yay or nay, you know, yes or pass. When I was saying, back to the color pop, by the way, I'm all over the place today. It's, I'm rusty. It's been a while since we've done these, can you tell? So back to the color pop palette, though, that collection, um, which I don't know when it's releasing, that kind of a looks like more of a, like, I feel like they should come out with that early fall, late summer, because that's what it's giving me is like late summer, early fall vibes. What do you guys think? Okay, so Mariah Carey is coming out with a new beauty line along with Ariana Grande. Um, I would be interested to see. I feel like Mariah Carey could be really good or really bad. D does anybody else get that vibe? Like, I feel like it could be, like, great, like, rare beauty great, or it could be, like, no, 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 like, not so good, you know? Um, and then same thing, like, Ariana Grande, ugh. Ariana Grande, I feel like, will be very, like, millennial. Why are they doing yard work right now? I can't even think. It's so loud. Are they done yet? This is annoying. 
Um, okay, so Valte said they want to mow the lawn after not mowing it for like 10 weeks. Great. Um, okay, so Fenty Beauty. So yeah, I same thing with Ariana Grande, although I feel like Ariana Grande's collection will be more like millennial, sort of like younger vibe, like more like trendy, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh, this, what are they doing out there? It's driving me nuts. I'm so sorry, you guys. Last time it was a fly, now it's this. It's like always freaking something, always. Okay, so Fenty Beauty has a resting peach face cream blush and mini gloss balm duo available. It's like a little holiday set. This looks so gorgeous. I think it's a new blush shade. I could be wrong. I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of the Fenty Beauty gloss balm. It's a little too sticky for me. However, I will put my feelings aside for an orange blush. So I might have to get this. I think it is a holiday set. It's only $25. Yeah, that's super cute. I think I'm going to definitely grab that at some point. Ooh, Wet n Wild came out with a little Twin Stars collection. How cute is this? How stinking cute is this? This kind of reminds me of that ColourPop collection that came out a few years. Well, it's longer. I'm dating myself. A while ago now, it was at the Chasing Rainbows. That's like the kind of vibes I'm getting from this Wet n Wild collection. Super cute. That's already available now as well. ColourPop and the NBA. Was I the only one that was like, what? Like, what is going on here? A collab with the NBA. I just thought that... Here's the thing, too. It, it was so ugly to me. I thought it looked so ugly. I don't know. Like, the palettes themselves were not that ugly on the inside, but just, like, overall packaging, I'm just like, what are you guys doing, ColourPop? Like, that one palette, the Mavericks palette, that was kind of pretty. But everything else, I'm just like, oh, my gosh. And it was like a cluster. It was like a big, like, everything at once just kind of cluster. I'm just like, ah. Like, why would they do that? I just thought it was so awful. I, I could be the only one though. You guys comment down below and let me know what your thoughts like. Am I the only one that just was like epic fail on ColourPop? Like where did that come from? I mean, cause let's just keep it a hundred. Like let's just keep it real. Who is like sporting a new ColourPop shadow palette when they're sweating their balls off playing basketball? Like who is rocking like a new glitter gel that gets in your eyes when you're trying to shoot a three-pointer. I mean, like, right? Like, am I... I... I don't know. I guess it's cute if you're a big NBA fan and, like, collectibles person, maybe. But, like, I'm into collectibles with makeup and I don't even like this. I'm just saying. Like, because here's the thing. Like, NBA is not going... To, like, they're not going anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like it was kind of like a cash grab from the NBA. Like, oh, we had to shut down for the pandemic. So let's, let's try to do as much as we can here to like, like, comp like, I just definitely comment down below. What are you guys' thoughts on all of these new products? Like a lot of them have already launched. We'll, we'll get caught up. We'll get caught up. Don't you worry. Um, but yes, definitely comment below your thoughts on all these new products, collections, etc. Because you guys know I love to hear from you on this stuff, what your thoughts are. Also, there's a lot of stuff I know I have not included in this video. So let me know what you guys have your eye on. Eye on the prize. Like, what are, what are you eyeing right now? What are you seeing that I haven't mentioned? Leave it down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you in my next video.